This is James with Peter Dubinsky. Um, water means to me, I mean, everything needs water. It means life and plants and green grass and trees. Yeah, I don't know. I know there's a lot of, water's a lot different here in Colorado than it was back east. It seems like there's a lot more struggles around water. Um, and I don't know all the detail. I mean, it seems like there's all these rules from way back when water rights and all that stuff that I don't I can't say I understand all of them <laughs> but um, yeah I mean it's definitely a important resource that I don't know we need to take care of but it seems to be wasted some. Tell me more about how you've seen water used in the community you live in here in Montrose. I've seen it a lot in you know watering yards and you see that a lot. That There's been a lot of recreation around the streams and rivers and lakes. And um, a lot of people talk about the levels of the reservoirs. That seems to be a common topic. And I, you know, everybody says that like the reservoirs are so low and, but like Ridgeway, you know, is always seems low, but it's a, I guess it's a normal ebb and flow to, to it, but I don't understand all that either. You know, I don't know what the normal, what it's supposed to look like normally kind of thing. Cause it seems like they always, it always looks low to me, but. Can you tell me um, how water impacts that that hobby of yours as a fly fisherman? Well, the water levels make a big difference. Um, you know, if there's not a lot of water, there's not, you know, the fish aren't gonna be as big and there's not gonna be as many and it's gonna be harder to find a place um, to fish. It's gonna get more crowded in the places where fish live. So it's definitely gonna make that harder. I would say one of the biggest challenges, at least for Montrose, is going to be, you know, if they have to do water restrictions and enforcing that and the number of people that aren't going to follow those. Um, and with the agriculture, I think that's going to be a big challenge to make, have a balance with, you know, the farmers and the ranchers on water usage and versus city usage and all that stuff. I've, yeah, I think there's going to be a challenge to where to draw the line and yeah, who it impacts the most and stuff like that. Tell me about a favorite memory you have of using water or snow as a kid. Sledding. So we had a farm next to where I grew up back in Virginia and sledding down the big hills, especially at night. That was the most exciting thing. Yeah, sledding. Um, I went water skiing once in Massachusetts. That was fun. It was it was fun. It was exciting. It was different kind of feeling, like flying on water, kind of. Those are probably my two biggest memories of water. Uh, we've had lots of experiences with water. We've had when we first moved in, our drain backed up in the basement, so we had water then. Had to kind of a clump, plumber come, um, and then we've had water damage in the bathroom recently. Working through all that and insurance and all that stuff. Yeah, and you know, the cost of water with in the summertime when we're watering the yard and how much it jumps up. Irrigation, yeah. So we do have a swamp cooler. Yeah, and that I haven't noticed because um, we run the water, you know, the irrigation at the same time we do the spr sprinkler. So it always goes up in the summertime. I mean, I, I there are concerns about um, water restrictions as far as irrigating lawns because we've got two dogs and you know we can't it's hard to have dogs and gravel or hardscape you know that's a hard thing to do you know play and fetch and stuff like that um, so it is nice to have the grass um, for pets so I think that would be a challenge if if we couldn't grow grass I think that would be a challenge for pet owners specifically but you know then I, I'm also worried about you know, if there's restrictions on how much you can use, you know, can you wash your dishes or do you do your laundry or, you know, does it go that far kind of stuff or, you know, is there water to drink, safe water to drink?